Rich Bracken. Hey, Rich, good How's to see you. Good this morning, we have Rich Bracken joining us. And Rich Bracken, our why not guys. Oh. We understand what it takes. We understand how to get through change. We understand how to get through really tough things. We are forged by those opportunities, and we're better because of it. And I want to talk to you today about making your life better. I was always told by my grandfather to leave people better than you found them, and that's my point for today. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna give you the most effective tool that you could possibly have in your personal and professional life, and that is emotional intelligence. Your intelligence, your IQ can get you to a certain point, but your ability to relate to other people, to listen, to engage, to be socially aware, to be personally aware and manage your own emotions can actually put you on a quicker path to leadership. Within those studies, they're also finding that people are not only happier, they have higher self-esteem, they experience greater life satisfaction, they have lower stress, and big perk here, they have better romantic relationships. So all of those things, cue some Marvin Gaye music because the more self-accepting and more holistic you are as a person, the better your romance is gonna be. Such great advice. Thank I you. bet you're a fabulous husband. So if you think about everybody that's got their own mindset, we're all going about our days, and if you're trying to make me happy or you're trying to live up to my expectation of happiness, then you're never going to be happy because that's constantly going to shift. It's finding that happiness within yourself because only you can identify with that. And what do you wanna do? You want to punch today in the face. Because all these things are great, but if you don't have the courage to attack your problems and go for your goals and really stretch yourself, you're not ever going to get to that point. If, you gotta, if you're going to get into this, come on. you gotta, you got to keep them on the going. Put them, keep them, going. Yeah, put them up. So if I have a rough day at work, I have a playlist for that. It's very Celine Dion heavy. Um, <laughs> you are going to have disagreements. You're not going to see eye to eye with everybody. But if you can at least have the patience and the emotional intelligence to listen and understand somebody else's point of view and see where they're coming from. That will help you in some critical communications. I don't have to necessarily change my perspective and I don't have to change my thoughts and my beliefs, but if I understand yours, that actually gives me more ground to stand on. All of us have been burnt out. We as a society have been working harder since the pandemic than we ever have before. We're working longer hours. Even though working from home sounded great because it was pajama pants and I don't know the last time I wore shoes in my house but it's all about understanding that we are working harder than we ever have. We're burning out at a higher rate than we ever have. Give yourself permission to take care of yourself. Self-care is mandatory in life. Find the core value of happiness in everything that you do, because there's always gonna be a frustration. There's always gonna be something that's out of balance. And so if you can find those core happiness factors within everything that's in your life, you can always go back to those. Because you're good enough. You're, you're smart, smart enough. <laughs> and doggone it, Mark. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> and we love you. It's that storytelling. And it's, it's the ability to come in and just like tap on someone's heart or tap on someone's mind and say, hey, pay attention. Here's what you're going to find out of this. Be who you are, accept and love who you are, good, bad, and flawed. You know, we try so hard to fix these flaws thinking that they're problematic because of all these images that we're bombarded with. When we should just be saying, hey, look, this is who I am. I love who I am. And I'm going to accept who I am holistically. There are 7.9 billion people in the world. There's one you. Accept that person for who you are.